Good Saturday morning, Crafty Friend Sparkle here. So, I'm not only a coffee snob, I'm also a tea snob. And these are my sisters, my eight sisters and my mother. I know it's hard to see, but I can't turn it because my tea will spill. So, um, I'm having cinnamon stick, and it's very lovely. And um, I've been seeing all these um, tea tabs that I've been hanging in my box with my uh, tea bags that I've been collecting. So I wanted to make a little, um, some clusters with them. So here's a little, um, this tea bag, I tea tab I made, and you just cut a one inch, uh, uh, one inch square is ample. I just did it on cardstock. And um, I punch a hole in the middle. I don't know why. I just like that. And um, I tied up some thread on it. But um, otherwise, you take these and you just cover them like I did here. Okay. And it's got the string and everything right on it. So what I did was, um, I just wanted to make some little clusters. So I have some paper in the background. Um, I have a piece of um, my ribbon, the dotted one. Uh, I have some word cards. I'm sorry, I don't know where I got these. They're in my stash, so I'm going to tear them up, the bigger words. This is sometimes the smallest step in the right direction ends up being the biggest step of your life tiptoe if you must but take the step oh so appropriate all the times i think i'm done i don't want to keep going but you go on and i'm using some of the tabs we made the other day in my tab thing and all i'm doing to make them shorter is um putting a little seam in them And adding a staple. And then I'll ink around. So that um, that makes them a little bit smaller when you're doing it on uh, just a smaller resolution. So there's one up there. And there's one there. This one I use the curtain backing, some paper, and the card. Um, and this one says take the first step in faith. You don't have to see the whole staircase. Just take the first step. And I'm using some of my little um, teardrop gold uh, pins. So, um, yeah. Just something simple. Chance to hang out with you all. Um, let's get some inking done here. The smaller things, it's better to ink before you get them on there. I think this one is done already. Okay, we're going to um, cover our um, tabs first. These two are done. Um, this one's covered. And we have a couple more here. Okay, I started this one. So you cover one side, and then um, you have your shape. And I'm just using um, leftover copy paper. Okay. So I'm just going to... And the only thing is when you're doing these, make sure you don't cut your string off. Ask me how I know. Yeah. So it's a beautiful day in the desert today. It's a little cool, but it's probably going to go up to the 70s, which is perfect for me. So if it's a pattern, make sure you put the pattern uh, going the right direction. Yeah. And once you get the one piece on, then you know, you know what you have to do. Just line it up and cut it out. 
I want a little more room on the side. So we're just going to cut it out, make sure it's glued down. Okay, and then we're going to ink it because that'll take care of any of the white that's showing. This one looks like it needs a little trim. Okay, so that's cool. And then I just took my crocodile, and like I said, I don't know why, but I just want a hole. I, I just like that look. Okay, so we have um, two done. Okay, this was a different um, brand. So... Different brands might be a little different shape, and that's fine. Um, I think Bigelow is just a tad bigger. But it doesn't matter. Just use what you have. Okay, these are from Hubby. So I want to use these. So get some glue down here. Cut it out. I know. Sometimes I see something and I say, I just want to make, I want to use that to make something. Okay, if you don't want the same paper or turn it over, um, you know, just turn it over and use whatever side you want. So I want to use that little corner there. So, oh, my son just texted me. He got 10 inches of snow in Milwaukee this morning. Oh, my goodness. No, thank you. That's why we're in Arizona, unfortunately. Unfortunately, because the kids are in Milwaukee. But... I couldn't handle that snow anymore in the cold. Okay, and just be careful when you're trimming up here that you don't cut your thread, okay? All right. So we'll just ink this up. So we have... We have three of the tabs done, and let's uh, finish this. Let's fold it, crease it, staple it. Um, those of you that know me know that I just try to use what I have and make things work, okay? So it doesn't always happen the way I planned, but it's usually doable, so just take some of that color off, and I think we'll use, um, I think we'll use this one, but um, just half of it, okay, this is my faux whale punch, I know, it doesn't much look like it, but if it's hanging off your page, like those will be it'll be just fine okay so we have three oh, here's one more yeah I wanted to make four so I have half a dozen So 
out. Yeah, this is just something nice and easy and relaxing. Got caught up on watching some of my other videos that I like to watch. Oh, we have one more. Let's do that one. Let's put this on there. Don't need that anymore. So. Let's just straighten this out. Cut it out. My poor husband, he's always like, do you want my tea bag? Do you want my coffee filter? And I just keep saying yes. Because I always want to have them around me. So, these are his tea bags. And his coffee filters that I put in my stuff. Let's uh, just put a piece of plain on, on this side. Yeah. So it's just all the putts in. Just getting everything. I like to get all my pieces made in an order and then I could um, just chill and got to get that over a little bit okay yep nothing here is new everything is Scrap paper, scrap tea tabs. Well, the paper clips is not a recycled item. Okay, hide your string. And then just ink it up. And these two need to have their holes, hole punches. Again, you don't have to do this. This is just my little touch. Okay, so we have our tabs here. We have our tea tabs here. We have our paper clips. So we want to take four of these. Start by doing what's necessary, then do what's possible, and suddenly you are doing the impossible. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Oh, I like all of these. All right, so we're just going to tear. Uh, see if we can get rid of this white core as best we can. I don't want to use my tear ruler. I could. So you'll tear these and ink these. Oops. Almost took off a word there. These are little. Rid of the white core as best you can. Then what you're going to do with this is you're going to take your tab, um, decide where you want it, and the 
if it's too long, you know, we'll just cut that off later. We're taking some of our medical tape. Or double-sided tape. Masking tape. And we'll just ink this just because I don't know if it'll show or not. Okay, then yeah, we can cut this piece off here. Then you're just going to layer it. So, um, find something for your background. That's a little bit too big, so. So this is where your scraps can come into play. So if you put that down there, and then decide if you want to use some of your um, your pretty ribbons and stuff, or lace. You could put lace in here. So I put that there. I put that there. Now this is thin, so I might just add another layer. Um, a layer of something behind there. Just to um, bulk it up. And I just want to stagger everything. Okay. And then you'll glue it down and put one of our tabs up here. Okay, so that's the bottom. Let's um, put this layer on top and stagger it. Let's put that here because you just want the top I just want the top open so I'm going to put it right there then I'm going to put my um, my fun stuff on I'm going to try to just glue this and see if it goes through all the layers. There you go. And these can go on the side of your pages or on the top, wherever you want to put them. And because um, the clips are removable, you know, you can just add them where you want. And then we're just, I have these little, um, these are old sequin, sequin type bling, and I just thought we could put one of them on here. I think they're cute. I like them a lot. So we'll make a few more. Let's try this. Try our ruler. These are on, are on cardstock, so... Sounds like my dog is trying to get in my room here. I 
Okay. So. So we'll take our tea bag. And we'll glue this down. Add some ink there so it doesn't show out. Get all this out of here. Okay. And we have a tab. Let's see. Get something for the background. Let's use a piece of this um, cardstock. So, uh, that's fine. are pretty close in color but it'll be fine when we add something between them let's add the white and let's add this we got this right here the coat and so we'll put this on here let's do this one Yeah. So. Okay, we got this, we got this, and we have a piece of this that we can scrunch up a little bit. So let's. Let's just scrunch this up a little bit. Let's see if that can go down there with back glue. And a paper clip. And that'll help tie everything together as well. This one's going to need a little more glue. Let's um, let's try this. I suppose you could stitch on these as well. Okay, so that's another one. I don't need that. So we have two more. I'll just do one more on camera here. Because I think you all get where I'm going. In fact, I'll just do these other two off camera and come back and show you everything when they're done. Uh, let's add one of these little Oh, let's put it over here. 
Oh, I was going to show you one more thing that I was messing around with. So, there they are, the ones we made just now. And then I also took some I had this paper on my desk and um uh, my ruler. I just um took my pen and I went like maybe one and a half inches by maybe a half an inch. I can't draw straight, so I have to use a ruler. If any of you have that hidden talent, you can draw straight. Go for it. So all I did was I made a box and that I outlined around the box. And I thought these are cute little tags that you can use in something. You know, you could surely draw freehand, but I can't. I apologize if you hear my husband talking to the dog. Um, because he's blind, he talks loud, and he doesn't realize that his voice carries into the studio, which is on the other side of the house. So, I just apologize up front. Okay, so that's all those were, but I just thought they were fun little something, and you could, um... you know, corner them up. And then you could lay layer um, little flowers or little beads or something on them. But anyway, that's just a little side item. So um, I'll be right back. So there you go, my crafty friends. Um, these are the final results. I like them a lot. And they are going to go into my treasure box with my button bling. I made these yesterday on a blue jean and a button and some loose threads. So those are kind of cute as well. So I'm going to have to get a, a bigger container as I can see. But they can sit there for now. So have fun my friends. I hope you um Get to craft a little bit this weekend, and if not, take some time off for yourself and just have a beautiful time. Bye now.